Ugh, how about a quality control check? <laughs> What's up, Hefe? Alright. I give everyone the, uh, I'll give everyone the friggin' Janet's suit. Oh my god. How's Where's it going? Uh, where's Hilly? Another glorious day in this man's army. Hey, you're Rondo. Where's Hilly, Rondo? Yep, thanks. Thanks, Cuddles. Hello, cutie. Hi there. Hey, sweetie. Later. Who are you? You like invisible women, eh? Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty smoking, eh? Yeah. It's pretty, pretty sexy, I know. You look great in some leather armor. Hello. Sorry. You look great in some leather armor. It's pretty Hi. cool. Um, yes, I think. I didn't even realize there'd be actual customers, but that makes complete sense. I don't know why Hilly would be on the third floor. Also, I don't know when this baby's gonna be happening. Oh God. Oh, well, she's getting clean. <laughs> you gotta take your dirty blood clothes off. Huh? VIP room. Let's see if she ever she finishes. Oh, still cleaning. <laughs> Washing that invisible baby. I guess the VIP room is on the second floor. What is this like? The crazy fun like. It's like mental institution room or like big bouncy ball room. Oh, if we could ba put bouncy balls in that room, that'd be freaking awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no, you're just asleep. Fuck your bottle. Is this where you're gonna put the baby? Mark six. Oh, it is. Awesome. The state-of-the-art child care accessory incorporates medical monitors, a nutrient dispenser, waste removal canisters, a holographic and ed edutainment system, and a gyro-stabilized rocking mechanism. It provides everything a baby needs without a lot of messy human interaction. It is currently empty. That's awesome. Oh, God. Ball arms. You could have used one of those and you carry my bar 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 Reboot. 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 You could have used one of these when you carry my baby around the wasteland. Steve, stop watching that lady sleep. Oh, shit. Good night. Good night, sweet princess. Alright, he's probably in the basement. Alright, so she's on the second floor. Hilly's probably in the basement. Doing whatever the friggy does. Huh. Hey. How may I serve you? I want to give you, uh, um, come with me if you want to live. Equipment. A riding crop? Huh. That's pretty interesting. Here you go. We're all going to be a big... There you go. Look at you. Look at you. You can repair spaceships now. It's great. Uh, can you guys maybe chill out? There you are. Hi there. Well, that fella slick as snot. His customers ain't leaving here with no change left in the purse, I guarantee you that. Mm-mm-mm. I have all the equipment. All right. Yeah, we're making money, I think. No, we're making money, yeah. Nice, good. <laughs> well, we haven't done that. Right. Oh, that baby's gonna, hey, you took a shower. Look, you all cleaned up, look at you. Oh, look at you, you, uh, I'm gonna give you. Hey man, thanks again for that thing. The shower? Yeah, okay. That'll work? Yeah, I'm gonna take away your ruined, disgusting, snot-filled hoodie. 
give you a chance to like everybody. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be like, why is everyone wearing jumpsuits here? <laughs> Who are you? Are you a customer? You're a customer. Look, she's dancing at radio. You guys really like invisible women. Hey, Whoops, sorry, sorry. Beer in this place tastes like piss. Hey there. <laughs> We work uh, here. What's up, he Maria, Hefe. We work here. All right. Anything else? What can I do you for? I guess there's no more people. Uh, when is I guess her baby just? Hire a toady to deliver the baby. I don't Your know humans when. Humans she... have such weak. Ooh. Stomachs. I guess that's my payment. All right. Oh, well, I just love to see a pretty young smooth skin. Okay, so I guess we're gonna do the uh, solving mysteries one. Who killed friend Fresca Coy? So yeah, there's basically uh, 15 minutes worth of hollow tapes. Oh, so maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll turn them on and go take a poop or something. Uh, like I said though, the uh. The voice work for all this is fantastic, though. I will give it that. Um, definitely a different mod, though. Say, I'll say that. Oh, stupid friggin' item. We have not used the Barret. It's just too gross. The texture is just meh. The picture of it there looks good. It's probably because it's a different model. I like this one, though. This one looks good. Alright. What do we got right here? Email from Detective Rios. Alright, we'll I'll read these, I guess. Possible homicide needs to be, what, 50-50 before you investigate? If you haven't figured it out, this is your make-or-break case. The victim's girlfriend found inconsistencies in the LVPD report. You prove it's right or wrong before she goes public. Then you're promotable, you shrug your shoulders and rubber stamp it, you'll still be looking at shock outlines of drunk drivers when you retire. If you need me to do any legal work here and I, just let me know. Remind me why we're doing this alcoholic career on the skids, 500 to 1. It's exactly what it looks like. Email from Dr. Van Houten. Always a pleasure, detective. Victim was female, mid to late 30s, no children, high as a kite when she died, blood alcohol 0 0.12. Prescription antidepressants in excess of, or of prescription dosage, THC consistent with... Hashish or high-grade cannabis. The unknown opiate he found is a new designer euphoric. Scanners don't have a signature yet, but I recognize the structure taken separately. None of it's lethal, but how her nervous system reacted to the combination is anybody's guess. Ten to one, he called it an overdose, and that's still a possibility. One on thing, you'd expect elevated endorphins in that condition, but hers are off of the scale. They're usually associated with pleasure, but can also be produced as a pain response. When she died, she was either having a very good day or a very bad day. Doc, take a look at this tox chart. Coroner found what he was expecting. I want a second opinion. Treat it like Jane Doe. Clean slate. Detective Rios. Just got back with tapes of the LAPOI. Person of interest. Interviews. Driver over. Drive over. Have a listen and then I'll buy you a cup of coffee. I think we're on to something. Copies of the retroactive wiretap are on their way over to you now. Couple POIs I want interviewed. Can you coordinate with LAPD? LVPD, whatever. Nice work, Detective. I'll request... Uh, some uniforms from LVPD to Canvas Hotels, meaning, meantime, you go watch your kid's game, drop off the tap, and I'll pull the phone logs once I have location, ran the IDs, one's a cheap fake, like horny Midwest housewife might get so hubby when won't know she's naughty in Vegas, the other's a very good fake, pass background checks and airport security, and get this, three days later, suspect has an obituary in the Des Moines Registrar. <laughs> Okay. Alright. There you go. There's the wiretaps. Alright, so we got... We, when we were in the, that town, there's a police office with all that information. Yeah, here we go. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So we got... LAPD Jeremy... Yeah, there's a whole bunch. Or maybe three. Alright, no, two. Two of those, and we got the wiretaps. So, uh, 
I mean, I'm just gonna play these, I guess, and then I'm just gonna sit here, because there's not really anything to do. Andy? It's Fresca Koi. Hello, Fresca. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm pitching a new movie soon, and I'd like to say a tentative interest from possible cast. And why grace me with this wonderful news? It's been a while, so I want to come back with something surefire. It's I'm thinking a, a sequel to Vault Boy's Day Off. I know, call me a whore. Don't tempt me, darling. Am I missing something? You're asking me to appear in a rehash of the movie that ruined my career. Are you missing something? Don't be such a drama queen. You want a pervy. Your paycheck was bigger than your last five movies combined. You're right. My films are a footnote at best. I should be grateful to gather your manner. So you had a slow spell. You're back. And I have no intention of suffering another. That movie was my 19th hole. Mind, I have nothing but affection for Don. He's a wonderful man, and I enjoyed every minute we worked together. But you see, Mr. Testosterone did his first and only same-sex scene, and his popularity soared. A few of his fans were disgusted, and a few admired his open-mindedness, but most of them simply found it hilarious. My fans were, universally, deeply offended. They thought you played a tragic scene for laughs. Andy, I swear to you, if people laughed at that scene, I failed as a director. Quod era demonstrandum. Please, Andy. I can barely keep up with sarcasm. Latin is wasted on me. Then let me spell it out real stuff. American style. You send me a script in which Don makes a part of me, and I think he's a woman, and stunk in his mouth, and when I find out he's a man, I'm appalled and strut away without reciprocating. A script which prompts his fans to send him hate mail, and which my fans think is funny. You send me that script, and I'll consider it. That was pretty good. How long have you been rehearsing it? Bitch. Only when I need to be. I'll send you a script, but Dom's not in the scene. I thought giving Farisa Chombo a ride might score you another pervy. If you can handle him. You fucking bitch. Now that one is spot on, old boy. Seriously, I'll send you a script. It's pretty rough, but you'll get the idea. And I give you my solemn word that I will not make you look like a hag this time. Gorgeous as you want. Do your hips still fit in that red dress? I hope you swallow a bottle of happy pills and choke. I love you too, Andy. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. I need more mug, goddammit! Ugh! We're gonna get some mugs. All right, let's uh. Fresca, this is Jeremy Peterman. I don't know if you remember me, but we met. Of course, I remember you, Jeremy. Congratulations on the nomination. Thanks. I heard you were in town. They say you're thinking about getting back into the biz. I'm here to cheer for Bruni, but yeah, I'm putting some feelers out. Look, it's not my place, but you should go mainstream. 19th Hole is like my favorite movie ever. But the future of porn is, well, it's what I do. No scripts, no sets, just real people getting the shit fucked out of them. It's hot. I'm a fan, but I think there's room for both. Would you have liked 19th Hole as much without the sex? Because if I had done it with one of the majors, there wouldn't be any. Sure. Jump cut from Lita kneeling to Tom pushing the elevator button, and I'd read between the lines. Fuck, I'm an asshole. I'm giving Fresca coy directing advice. Sorry. Anyway, that's not why I called. I was hoping maybe you could do me a favor. My favors aren't worth as much as they used to be, Jeremy. But what can I do for you? This place makes L.A. look like the Midwest. Chicks are begging me in the street to be in a movie. So I figure, when in Rome, right? Anyway, this serious little hottie calls herself Claire Sin, asks why I only shoot hetero, and I have no answer. I mean, at first it was all about, I love big dicks, my boyfriend has a big dick, and then Farisa unzips it and I go, holy shit. But there's this whole audience I haven't tapped yet, and I need some stranger in the street to point it out to me. She's way interested, but not in guys. I'm thinking, who could break in an amateur with some pro-level Sappho shit? And when I mentioned you, she just about wet him. I guess she's... 
Yes? Sorry, I was rambling. What? Yes, breaking in a serious little hottie sounds like fun. Yeah? Awesome! Fresca fucking koi! Oh, man! Where and when? Just one more thing. I want you for this one. But if it takes off and you get back into directing, well, supply and demand, right? Think Bruni would be interested if there's enough to go around? Oh, yeah, she'd be perfect. Scare the bejesus out of him. But she's not here. She's still shooting. They wrap today, and she's catching the red eye tonight. And the awards are tomorrow. Well, no time like the present, right? I'll text you the address. Sounds good. Do you need me to, uh, bring anything? Nope. I've got my Boy Scout bag. The classics, plus some crazy new shit. Most of these chicks party hard. Gotta be prepared, right? Cool. I'll see you in, let's say, two hours? Perfect. Friggin' mugs. Hey, Sasha, it's Fresca. Putting together a possible cast list for Pitch. It's a sequel to Vault Boy's Day Off. Interested? <laughs> Why? Ginger is getting too old. No, Ginger's back. But in this one, the lead role is her daughter. You'd be perfect. <laughs> Sasha is thinking... No. Look, I love Mo, but he's a pain in the ass to work for, and he can't be paying you shit. If this is about your contract, I can get you out of it with one phone call. I know fake your immigration documents, and why. Everybody is hearing room about Sasha's papers. It's so five years ago. Maybe it was a mistake. Sasha is not reading English so good. Sasha, I don't care about that. I'm just saying you don't have to worry about your exclusivity clause. Mm. Plus, I think you'll find working for me is a lot of fun. Mm. It's not about contract. It's about style. You make movies. Too much talk. Mom make movies. Sasha get what Sasha wants. Non-stop. Pies. Okay. But you're passing up a ton of money the chance for a pervy. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure thing. Kisses, babe. Kisses. Got my kisses for the misses. Mo is Sasha. Fresca is wanting Sasha to make movie. Is knowing about papers. Is offering to tear a contract. What'd you tell her? It's clerical error. No one here is knowing, and Sasha is not understanding what- No, dipshit. What did you tell her about the movie? Nate, of course. Not interested in lovey-dovey video. <laughs> but, Mo, if Fresca is telling, what is happening to Sasha? What is happening to Mo? Calm down, babe. She won't tell anybody. If she does, her pal Larry takes the heat. We're just victims. Fuck, why won't that bitch do us all a favor and drink herself to death? Mo is awful. But is making Sasha feel better. Kisses, babe. Yeah, kisses. Kisses. <laughs> oh boy, my guys. Interview. Jeremy Peterman, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Fresca Coy. Dude, that was so sad. She was like the greatest director of her generation. Maybe ever. Anyway, I don't know what I can tell you, but I'll try. You were the last person to see her alive. Can you shed some light on her state of mind? What? No, that's not right. I mean, we shot a hollow the day before the awards, but that was like, like, right after lunch, I think. Anyway, she seemed fine. Well, better than fine, really. We just shot a really hot video with this amateur chick. 
But it was more than that. She was like totally stoked to be getting back in the biz, talking to people, getting ready to pitch a new movie, you know? Was she sober? Uh, pretty much. Okay, probably not. With Fresca, it was kind of hard to tell. For a woman her size, she could really hold her liquor. And, you know, she liked her happy pills. I mean, ask anybody about that. Mind if I take a look in your Boy Scout bag? Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, right there. Condoms, lube, gadgets, you know. What's this thing? That? Well, you adjust it to fit with the buckle, and you put the flexible part in your... Never mind. So you were shooting a <laughs> pornographic hollow when Miss Coy was intoxicated? I didn't exactly say it like that, but I guess, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't the last person to see her. The amateur we shot with supposedly had some new sex toy, and Fresca seemed really interested. They left together. Do you have contact information for the amateur? Sure, let me check my Pip-Boy. She used Claire Sin as her stage name, which was supposedly a play on her real name. Here it is, Amanda Sinclair. But that was fake too, and I had to get a real name for the background check. The boss bought some big database after that business with Sasha. It'd be easier for a commie to get in the Pentagon than somebody unhirable to get past this bad boy. Sex crimes, STDs, underage, you name it. Sorry, where was I? Right, her name. Frances Deloitte from Des Moines. Hey, that's not a bad porn name either. Deloitte, Delight, get it? Thank you, Mr. Peterman. You've been very helpful. And, Mr. Peterman? Yeah? The First Amendment doesn't cover getting girls high and raping them just because you record it. In fact... We call that evidence. If I catch wind of you shooting in my jurisdiction, I'm going to pay a little visit to the set with a warrant. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, sure. It's all legit. My boss is a real stickler about legal stuff, you know? So I wouldn't do... Save it. And don't say I didn't warn you. I won't. I mean, um, thanks. Have a good one. So, uh, this is... this uh, The trash can is a re-texture mod. I don't know which one of it is, but... <laughs> never gonna give you up. Never gonna give you up. Ugh, I've never got in here. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh my god, that's funny. Never gonna give you up. Alright. Who does that you? Maurice Lester, I'd like to ask you a few questions about Fresca Coy. Yeah, what about her? Mr. Lester, what was your relationship with Miss Coy? Didn't have one, really. She was in a few of my movies till she got too drunk to work. She cleaned up her act, got into directing, made a couple pretty good ones. But eventually, she fucked that up, too. She hadn't worked in, what, two years? I'm surprised it took her this long to check out. Well, her friends say she considered you her mentor. A lot of people call me that. It sounds better than, I rip off Mo's ideas. Hmm, that's interesting. Because people I talked to said your movies ripped off her ideas. No, they said the lineup was inspired by Sphincterella. They forget Sphincterella was a rip-off of personal fouls. I'm glad you brought that up. Your movies always make cops look stupid, Mo. You think cops are stupid? Stupid? No. You're asking me how a washed-up, pill-popping, alcoholic porn queen died. I think you're fucking retarded. Mr. Lester. We have evidence that Sasha Sikorsky was below the age of consent when she engaged in multiple sex acts on the set of one of your movies. Hey, her birth certificate says she was legal. If some asshole clerk in Shitsky fucked it up, talk to Larry Slater. I just worked there. Anyway, you said this was about Fresca Coy. Are we done? 
No, Mr. Lester, we're not done. The evidence came from Miss Coy. She was blackmailing you. That's a pretty solid motive for murder. Oh, for fuck's sake, she wasn't blackmailing me. She was trying to convince Sasha to do a movie. Ooh, the bad man exploited you. Come work for me. I'm so nice, I'll even eat your little pussy between scenes. Well, Sasha said no. Goodbye, come back. Hello, depression. Goodbye, Fresca. The end. All right, Mr. Lester. That's all for now. Do you have any plans to travel in the next few days? I'm shooting in Vega Luna all week. I'll be there or here. If your plans change, let me know. Yeah, if I remember. Have a wonderful fucking day. Never gonna give you up. Alright, so we can decide, I guess, if we go back to her.